Hi, I'm Christine Cushing and welcome to my kitchen where we make fun, feel good recipes that connect us all. Today I'm hitting the queue and we are going to make a burger that's going to become your go-to. I mean, you're going to be making it over and over and over again. Let's get started on the beef. So what makes a great burger anyway? Obviously, it's all about the beef. You have to start with good quality beef. Here I'm going with something that's moderately lean, so it's in the medium category. If you start with something super lean, you can never get a juicy burger, like basically unless you eat it raw. So step one to my beautiful medium ground beef is going to be an onion. I'm gonna take my handy dandy box grater and I'm going with a Spanish onion, sweet onion, anything in the sweet onion variety, that's the way to go. So for about a pound or 450 grams of this beautiful beef, I'm gonna go in with about a half an onion. But let me draw your attention here. In addition to this beautiful grated onion, what do you see on the plate here? See, there's a whole bunch of liquid, right? that is gonna give moisture to the meat. So right away, I'm gonna add that to, you see that moisture going in there? Water, gonna add that. Half an onion is good. If your onion is too big, it's gonna make it super wet and then super oniony, which I think this is just the right amount. Let's talk onion powder. Are you a fan or not? I have to say, I wasn't a fan, but there are instances where you can use it. You could use it here, but when you use the fresh onion like this, you're gonna get that moisture, okay? Mmm, it's actually mild, this onion. That's the whole thing. Don't go with the cooking onion. You've heard my whole diatribe before about not using a cooking onion in here. It's gonna be too harsh. Next thing going in, egg, one egg. No shells. So now the whole point about the egg is, the egg is gonna bind the meat together. It's not gonna make it, you know, like meatloaf, which a lot of people say, but it's going to bind it together because we wanna keep those juices in and we don't want that burger to fall apart. Next thing, I'm obsessed, smoked paprika going in. Gotta have it. A Little bit of salt while we're there. A Little bit of cracked black, season it, to your taste. Not crazy with the amount of salt as always, like that. Worcester, always my secret ingredient for anything burgery, meaty, umami, is gonna really kick up that burgery, beefy flavor. Don't worry, the amounts, all the quantities are gonna be below in, right below where the video is, there's a description, that's where the recipe is always. Here is controversial item. These are breadcrumbs. Now, the breadcrumb is gonna do a couple of things. This is really about 50 grams, not more than that, like about a quarter of a cup for this pound or 450 gram. And you'll see that those breadcrumbs are really like a chunky style. This is not that sawdust that you can buy that's really, really gonna make it bind together. This is a delicate, breadcrumb that's gonna really hold the juices in and it's gonna make a super juicy burger. Now, let me make sure I have everything we mix. Now you'll notice here I'm mixing gently and the reason I put all the ingredients and only mix once is because I don't want to overwork this meat. So I'm doing it gently, but at the same time, you know, confidently, you got to show the meat who's boss. Now you'll see how it's still kind of loose. You want to make it come together. So that's as far as I'm going to work it until the meat is starting to come together. So I think that is perfection, really. That's all that I want there. If I work it too much, then the meat is gonna get tough and you're not gonna have that tender, juicy burger that you want, right? So now what I'm gonna do is just divide it in four and we're gonna make four patties out of this. Even, pretty simple. 
Again, I'm a big fan of eyeballing it. Here I also apply a little bit of pressure, kind of back and forth, just because I didn't overwork it. This is gonna help creating a bit of texture and holding them together, but not too much. So you see how I get round, and then now I wanna create that patty. Yes. It's really important here to create this patty that's sort of even all the way around. So I want to make sure that it's about this thick, maybe like a centimeter and a half, maybe a half an inch. Now, who can you trust to make a great burger? To me, you know that a Greek is going to make a good burger. Every second Greek knows somebody who has a family member who owned a burger joint, a diner, you know, one of those things. I mean, it's true, right? And actually, I actually blocked this from my memory, but my dad briefly owned a diner. I think I was, I don't know, six or seven years old. I have vague recollection of it. He wasn't enjoying it, but he did own it. And I totally remember just sitting at the counter and actually breaking my two front teeth. That's my only recollection of my dad. And the anatomy of a good burger is not to me just about the burger. It's also about the bun. We didn't talk about the bun. Okay, that looks good. I've got four beautiful burgers here. Feast your eyes on these babies. These are gonna be the buns that these burgers will sit in. So this is a video that I also did for you. It is a brioche burger bun made 100% with olive oil. You're gonna love it. It's amazing. I just like to drizzle a bit of olive oil over top before they hit the grill. Just a little extra precaution because those onions are there and the bread and, and the egg, I don't want it to stick, but this is just a little precaution. Okay, it's time to fire up the grill. We're heading outside. Okay, my barbecue is super hot. I like to take a paper towel, just oiled, just as an extra precaution. Now, temperature is super high at this point. I like to start it that way. And these are gonna be, again, roughly four minutes aside, but if you want them a little bit rarer, a little bit less. want your burgers medium rare, you have to ensure that that meat is ground that day that you went to your butcher or you ground it yourself. You don't want to be buying patties and then eating the medium rare because you just have no idea how long that meat's been around. So only freshly ground meat, you can do medium rare. Look at these babies. Perfection. The question now is to squeeze or not to squeeze. If I squeeze these down, all the juices are gonna run up. That's why I put a little bit of egg and the breadcrumb in. I wanna hold as much of those juices in, so I'm not squeezing these at all. They look perfect. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Already. <laughs> How can you not love that? All right. I didn't mention what this cheese was. This is some beautiful Swiss raclette. This is the ooeyest, gooeyest, meltiest cheese ever. But any cheese you like, slap it on. This baby also ready to go. All right. People are going to be lining up at your place for burgers. Who's ready for assembly? Pick up 
One, what do you want? Cheeseburger or hamburger? I'm going with cheese. All right, look at this beautiful brioche bun. Hello. So I'm going to give you the works. I'm going to go in with a little Dijon mustard on the bottom. Like that. This is going to be, as I said, a burger that you're going to come back to over and over again. Got to have some bib lettuce on the bottom. Hit it with that. Exaggerating everything. Then the burger's going down. Look at this baby. Juicy, cheesy, mama, mia. I got to have for me tomatoes and pickles on my burger. A couple of these kosher sliced pickles. You can smell the garlic from here. Look at that baby. Beautiful piece of tomato, the best tomato that you can find. <laughs> I'm going to do a little, it's getting exciting, a little bit of pepper, a teeny bit of salt just for my tomato. It's already, you should have the salivating effect in your mouth. Gonna go, I love ketchup on my burger, so on the other side, going in with a little ketchup. Oh yeah. And guess what's gonna happen now? Boom. Ready? That is what I'm talking about. I can't contain myself. Cheeseburger. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, look up John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, SNL skit where they're running the Greek diner. Hilarious. I'm going for the cheeseburger. Now, there's no ladylike way of doing this. I gotta just crush it down. Do you see what I was talking about? The burger keeping its shape. It didn't all fall apart. Look at this bun. Oh man. People are gonna be coming to your place for this burger. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> It's going to be very challenging. Ready? Mmm. Oh boy. That is a good burger. You see the juiciness? Look at that. Whoa. Perfect combo for me. Perfect bun, perfect burger, seasoning, toppings. This is going on your grill very imminently. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen once again. Actually, we were in and out today, which is super exciting. Hope everything is well with you. Hope you try the burger. Thumbs up, share. Let me know what's happening. We might be doing a little bit more barbecuing coming up soon. Thank you. See you very soon.